For the size of tents you're fishing for, Gary, they must put up a hell of a scrap. What sort of gear are you using to do some durum? Um, on the um, Neoteric twin tip rods, um, using the one and three quarter tip that comes with it most of the time, right. um, but it's got a 2.2 as well, so if I do need to fish at longer range, yeah. probably 70 yards plus, yeah. um, then I'd step up you to that. Up, but the one yeah. and three quarter is fine, anything up to 70 yards even. Yeah. There's soft enough action as well that you can use 10 pound line straight through and never get crack offs at yeah. all with it, which yeah, is it's, handy it's as well. It's that balance, isn't it? If I fish the method quite a bit and it's getting that balance right between you want a rod with quite a through action that's not going to snatch at the line and it, to stop the crack offs. Definitely, yeah. If you've got something that's fast to taper and it sna snatches more on the cast, yeah. it, it will just you will crack off with eight, 10 pound line. Yeah. If, that's all you're using. Yeah, and, and I guess sort of 10 pound line, because you're fishing around gravel bars, there's abrasion in there, and then to take the, the stress of the cast. Yeah, I mean, you've, you've got enough. Yeah, I mean, it does, does everything you want, really. It's yeah. enough for the cast. You've got a bit of abrasion resistance there. If it does get around the bar, if it goes in weed, you know you can give it a reasonable amount yeah, of stick still, without yeah. it snapping off. Um, perfect, really, for... Yeah, that style of fishing. So it's quite unusual, I think, that you're using ground bait for tench. I mean, I, I tend to normally use particles. So. What sort of mix are you using, Gary? I'm um, using a mixture. I mean, the main main part of it is the um, hemp and halley crush, um, which are quite like it's quite quite coarse, uh, mixes up nicely. Yeah. Uh, binds very well as well, mm. which is especially when you're chucking at range, you want something yeah. that's obviously going to stay on the lead. It um, does work really well on the method, that one, doesn't it? It's, it breaks down pretty quick, but it is quite sticky. Yeah, it holds together, then once it's on the bottom, it does start, because of the, I think because of the crushed hemp in there, it starts fizzing right. and bits yeah. coming off of it. Um, yeah, it I'll mean, put a few casters in there as well, just to help it break up. Right. A bit more rather than just a solid ball of ground even, bait. Even like the floating casters? Yeah, yeah, put a few of them in there so we get them popping up and yeah. coming off. Yeah, and a bit yeah. more action going on. Yeah, just gives, gives something going on down there. Um, if I want to change the colour of this at all, I mean, I do quite like green, the green ground bait. I've always done well on this for the tench um, on a lot of waters. Um, right, well, super crushed green. Yeah, and it, it goes quite a nice colour. Once it's mixed up, once you've got a mixture of the two, you get quite a nice quite a nice colour, it's darker than the green on its own. Um, yeah. If I'm fishing somewhere where they've been fished for quite a bit, especially sort of after the waters have been open for a month or two yeah. uh, for the tench fishing, um, tend to darken the ground bait up, just so it's not quite so obvious on the bottom. Right. If they're coming over a baited spot, yeah. And you've got something that really stands out. Yeah. I'm sure yeah. sooner or later they, Being they, so start, visual, they start thinking, oh, hang on, I've been caught. Hanging over that back before. a bit once they've been caught a few times, yeah. yeah. Um, some, sometimes flavour the ground bait as well. I mean, something fruity yeah. in there. Um, just so, so you've got your own own flavour basically yeah, to it. Um, right. So you know that it's going to be different to what yeah, other, what other like anglers are using. Pineapple or strawberry? That Straw, kind of strawberry's good, yeah. Pineapple yeah. again, yeah. I like yeah. pineapple for the tench. Um, yeah. Just something a bit different to what other people are using. Um, yeah, they do seem to go for sort of fruity flavours, don't they? It's... Oh, definitely, yeah. Any, yeah. Anything fruity or, or even cream as well. Creamy flavours work quite well right. for them. Yeah. And uh, are you then sort of spotting sort of hemp and castor as well, just to sort of create a bit more of a better bait? Or... Mainly with the uh, sort of hemp and castor, just a mixture of the two. Um, I don't go, don't go crazy with the amount I put out. Maybe 15, 15 spots, dozen right. 15 spots. Yeah. yeah. So you can get a few takes and then top up. Right. As you need As to, rather in, yeah. than filling yeah, a I filling a swimming. Spots, what's that? Probably a couple of pints. Yeah, it? it's probably yeah, two, three pints probably yeah. of, of yeah. mixed. Um, I mean, ground bait goes out through through the spod, um, but that's pretty much just used for plugging the spod. Right. Yeah, just to put a, a, a little bit on the cap on top. Yeah, to yeah, and you get a out. bit coming down through the water then as right. well, and get a bit of smell going off if yeah. you've got. Yeah, I guess it really gives you that nice sort of cloud. Yeah, of yeah, nice cloud going down through the water. Yeah. Plus with the he casters or casters and maggot, they've quite expensive yeah. now, so you don't want to be losing no, half of it right, yeah. on the way out Talking there in the spot. The um, you mix that fairly dry as well. I mean, it's, it, I suppose it, it binds around the leg really well, doesn't it? Yeah, that has, it's still going to break that's down. It's probably dried out slightly. I mean, that's one thing I found with a halibut hemp patch sheet is you almost yeah. need to mix it up and then come back and add some more water yeah, I think it's half hour it's, later. Because there's a lot of pellet in it. Because of the pellet, it absorbs a lot yeah, of water. So it's just it'll, taking a lot of water. It'll mix up fairly sticky to start with and then you'll find right. it dries out. So yeah. I'll just add a bit of water when I need to, really. With yeah, it. that's it. Particularly in, in this sort of hot weather as well, mm. it does dry out, and you do need to just got to keep adding a little bit more and remixing. Oh, definitely, it, yeah. I mean, it's, it's not... nice because it, it sort of breaks down really well. It's not lumpy, is it at all? No, no, no. It does break down nicely. I mean, you can. I mean, I always with all my ground bait mixes, I always chuck one in the margins 
just yeah. to see just to see what's happening yeah. so you can see how it's breaking down and check that it's actually doing what you're expecting it yeah. to be doing out in the lake. Excellent. Thank <laughs> you.